The national moratorium on evictions was recently extended to keep families suffering during this pandemic from ending up homeless. But here's a warning about all of the loopholes in this new law, so you don't waste your money. This is what Ayanna McClure found when she pulled up to her apartment one day this past fall. Painters were taking everything out and putting in new locks. Oh, uh, because this is my apartment and they changed the locks. This health aide told us that she lost a month of work over the summer and had fallen behind on her rent. So it was no way I could come up with like two or three thousand dollars. Ayana, who's now staying in a local women's shelter, says she was evicted despite the eviction moratorium. I guess like the first day that he could file the eviction, he did it. Three days after Christmas, our team found Amanda Barger and all of her belongings tossed out of her rented mobile home. I know this is a business and you got to pay your own way, but they could have a little you know, kind of the good news for renters behind on their payments. The national moratorium on evictions has extended into the new year. The bad news. There are many reasons why a landlord can still legally kick you out. Disturbing your neighbors, not maintaining, you know, keeping the, the apartment clean, those sorts of uh, lease violation or tenant violation duties. Nick DiNardo of Legal Aid says tenants need to know the eviction moratorium is not automatic. You must submit a CDC form, which is available on the CDC website, Legal Aid's website, or at your local library. And the moratorium only applies to financial hardship. There are plenty of people who are being evicted right now. Among them, these two women. In both cases, their landlord tells us that there were other reasons for their decision besides late rent. Now, if you're facing eviction, contact your local legal aid office or community action agency for some assistance and guidance.